Odenwasser was one of the 20th century's most celebrated European artists. The art of Friedensreich Hundertwasser is whimsical and imaginative. He created his own fantastical world. I'm guided by dreams, the way I imagine children dream. In each genre, he found his own personal language. Spirals are his trademark. He rejected straight lines and loved wavy ones. He relished brilliant colors. Critics say his art is kitschy. The important thing is that art can be attractive and at the same time imaginative, and it can help us view things in a less intellectual manner. And that is the legacy of Hundertwasser. Hundertwasser was born in 1928 in Vienna. As a schoolboy, he was commended by his art teacher for his unusual sense of form and color. For him, the earth was a paradise that we must protect and adorn. He was a pioneer of ecological thinking. He created a device that uses plants to purify water. He dreamed up playful, enticing buildings. Some were even built. I want to make lots of people happy, not depressed. I don't want to burden them with more problems. They already have enough. He turned to architecture in his 50s. His work is marked by curves, towers, ornaments and rich colors. The Green Citadel in the German city of Magdeburg was his last project. In the 1980s, he remodeled an apartment building in his distinctive manner. Beautiful. This is the first time that I've seen something like this. And it's amazing, the colors and the architecture. I like it very much. Young artists in Vienna claim Hundertwasser as an influence including those who covered the facade of this house with graffiti last year. Hundertwasser considered the exteriors of buildings our third skin, after our own skin and our clothes, and believed that we may design and decorate them any way we like. His influence extends beyond art and architecture. The Berlin DJ Alle Farben says Hundertwasser has been a source of inspiration for his music. He had such a childlike, naive quality, and that is something I like to see in my work, too. I think it's very hard to achieve that, but it's what I try to do. I see Hundertwasser in the context of pop history. His legacy, his continuing presence, is part of pop history. You don't have to imitate him, but you can certainly learn from his fantastical language, his formal language, and his palette. That would suit him just fine. Friedensreich Hundertwasser died in February 2000, but his work and his spirit are still with us.